We've lived in this RV for the last five years, full time. And recently we were hit by a hailstorm. Been talking to the insurance companies. Now we have three choices. What are we gonna do? Let's go down that road. Lily pads are coming out. And the lotus flowers. Yeah. They recently mowed. It's a very patriotic little vehicle. We uh, were trying to get away from the noise, the traffic noise, <laughs> to finish this video. And we've been working on it, bits and pieces to try to get it done, but yeah, traffic's following us. Okay, anyway. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And this is Roads of Faith, and oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, we have had a lot of, uh, been doing a lot of praying <laughs> about what's going on here. So if you're new to our channel, Gary and I live full-time in a fifth wheel. It's a 26-foot fifth wheel, no slide outs, uh, it's about 180 square feet, and we've been doing it for five years now. We love it. And in the winter time, we usually go south, and Gary serves a vacancy, um, church vacancy, as a retired pastor. He's retired now six times. And then in the summers, we spend him up in Wisconsin with our family, because the majority of our family is in Wisconsin. So that's what we do, and we got caught in a hailstorm when we were at our son's house. And it didn't look that bad. I mean, the, the damage really didn't look that severe. But the insurance company said that because of its age, it was 22 years old, and because it was in such good condition, they totaled it. Hmm, yeah, that was the op first option we had. First option, if they total it, was that we have uh, to surrender it. And they take it, and I guess they sell them at auctions or something, we found out. And, I don't know, um, and salvage what they can out of it. Has a fairly new refrigerator in it. It's only, what, three years old. And that's worth about 2000 right there. Uh, that was our first option, was to surrender our home and take the money. They were very generous. They gave us quite a bit more than what we even paid for the RV, which is unbelievable. Unfortunately, with the market the way it is right now and everything being so high, it would be very, very hard to find anything even in that price range. We checked, we looked around, and either they needed work and we've already done a lot of work. <laughs> we didn't want to have to start all over again. Or they would need, um, they just they just weren't. To, yeah, more money than we had to invest. And uh, the time frame that we would have to find something really quick to move into so we could just move out of our home into the new one. Yep. So we looked at the second option. I should just back up. Um, the other thing is that if we gave it up and we didn't find anything to move into right away, we'd be kind of basically homeless. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, that would that was a big factor. We would have to move into something somewhere somehow. Yeah, we're trying to get away from the traffic, and there's still traffic. <laughs> no matter what we're going. Okay. Should have gone out on the gravel path. Should have gone out on a boat. That's what we should do. <laughs> there's nobody on the lake. <laughs> Anyway, then that took us to option number two. And mechanically, I mean, it's a, it's a fifth wheel, so there's no motor was damaged or anything like that. There was nothing structural that was damaged, right? So there, it, it was mostly cosmetic. There was really no reason why we should give it up. It was our home. Here comes another ATV. 
I don't know where we're leaving off every time. I think we started out telling you about uh, number two. Number two <laughs> was the second option was to that they would salvage it. They would yes, they would give us a salvage title, which means we would get less money for it, but we could still use it. And we just need to get it safety inspected by the state patrol or DOT mm -hmm. before we can take it on the highway. So as soon as we get that figured out, whether to go that route or number one, yeah. Yeah. So again, uh, the insurance company was very generous. They gave us almost as much as we paid for it. Yes. I mean, it was unbelievable. So it was still a really good price, but not enough to go out and buy another one unless we go into debt and we don't want to go into debt. So it would give us the option of staying where we're at, staying in our home. And then at our time and leisure, we could make the choice to sell it, get a different one, or get a different one and sell it. At a later time. Yeah. Yeah. So then the third choice, you know, with everything going on right now in the country and, and uh, different people talking about getting off the road and different people talking about uh, having home bases and, and hunkering down at their home bases and stuff with their RVs and... Well, we can't afford to buy land. And uh, we can barely afford to buy gas. <laughs> that's the big one. <laughs> it's going to cost so much. And oh, here comes another ATV. <laughs> Good gracious. Okay. So the third choice, then, the thing that we thought about was well, we can't afford property or anything right now, but. Um, we even looked at maybe some houses. Well, this is not the time to be buying a house, at least in our, our situation. We certainly can't afford it. So we looked at a possibility of maybe renting something for a while until things maybe settle down a little bit. Maybe prices will start coming down on housing and prices will start coming down on RVs and things. Eventually, there's, gonna, there's gotta be a drop somewhere. So we were looking at that, and then uh, we would maybe buy a van, which we've talked about many times. Yeah. And then we would just travel that way, maybe in the winter time or something. We would travel, going down uh, with um, the van, and then we'd have the time to fix it up and whatever in that time frame. Okay. There's one more place we're gonna try to get <laughs> where it might be a little quieter. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. We're going to try a path that's kind of new here in Montello. It's pretty cool. They started it last fall, and it wasn't completely finished yet when we left last fall. And now they have finished it, and we were on it several times since we've been back. So we're going to take you on that. i got some weird things going on with... Sunshine. Yeah, the lighting. Look at the little floating little... It's a little fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bouncing around there. Anyway, so we, we we prayed about it. We thought a lot about it. We had to let the insurance company know. There was a lot of things we had to check out with insurance. We needed to know that if we kept it as a salvage, uh, what does that mean? Does it mean we have to get a new title? Does it mean that we have... Um, what kind of insurance are we going to have or not have? And we will not have comprehensive anymore. Correct. They will have paid out on it. Right. So we will not be able to get comprehensive on the RV. But we can get liability. And so we got that. And so we decided maybe we could just take the difference in price of not paying for it anymore and versus what we were paying and then we could kind of save up some money that way. We had to make a decision. 
And our decision was, we did we, not want to leave our home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say number two, but that sounds kind of... Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to leave our home. We're going to stay in our home. We're going to stay. We're going to keep her. Yeah. Faith has brought us through a lot of things, and that's her name. <laughs> and you know, we don't have a name for the truck. We really should have a name for the truck. And after, I mean, all this time, five years now, it's a uh, 1998 Dodge Ram. So, 2500. Come up with a name that'll go with Faith for the <laughs> the uh, the RV. And yeah, we're going to stay in our home. We're going to show you some of the things we're going to be doing to fix it up. Um, and we're going to live with some of the dents. Well, the, but the RV, we're going to live with all the dents. <laughs> Well, but I mean, we're going to, yeah, we're going to yeah. live with all the dents on the RV. We're going to fix the ones on the truck, but we're, we're going to show you. It's not that bad. It's not like we're going to get run out of a, an RV park or anything because of how it looks. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but anyway, we'll show you what we're going to do to get it going. And we have a very short time frame to do it. My mom's uh, celebration of life uh, is going to be in August, the first weekend of August. And we are going into July here. So, hmm. Kind of typical. Yeah. The things that we need to do and time frame. And, and working around rain. People to see, events yeah. to go to. Yeah. But yeah. Next thing you know, it's September going into October. And... We have to be ready to move. Yeah, go down the road more so. All right, so that's a that's a recap. I'm sorry if it was it probably went a lot longer than I intended. It was just with all the interruptions. I don't know how long that was. But here's what we're gonna be doing to the RV. We'll show you up we'll show you that next. So now that we made our decision on what we're going to do, we're gonna to get to work and make her as pretty as we can again, maybe even better. As we mentioned in a previous video, the shutters didn't get any damage, which was just bizarre because it's on the same thing. <laughs> and there were dents right next to it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Anyway, so this is the side that got hit the hardest. And uh, you can watch that previous video to see how we were getting pelted all that time. The door is fine. Um, these uh, bars did not get any damage to them that we've been able to see. The awning, when we opened it up, the only wear and tear was on the, was right up against the RV. There's a few little spots where it's kind of thin. We can see how the light is shining through and reflecting on the RV. But those are all tiny, tiny little holes and tears. We were going to redo the roof anyway, or I should say I will be spotting Gary while he's up on the ladder and <laughs> up on top. <clears throat> and so we picked up the supplies for that. The roof really, you didn't really see any damage to the roof, did you? Not to the membrane. But on the seams, there was some, and on this strip here, a few places on top, this goes up, and then all down the uh, top corner. So in places, this is busted. Wanted to get some plastic, whatever this is, to replace that. Yeah, we couldn't get any at Camping World. That was weird. It's, a, it's just a strip that goes over caulking, just correct? snaps in there over top of the screw heads. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. The lighting might not be the best. Okay, so then on the seams above and on the sides, we'll be using either this one, which is the non-sag one, and on top, this is self-leveling lap sealant, so on the top part around the air conditioner vents and along the uh, ends, back and front, uh, the self-leveling stuff. They're both white, and that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath 
underneath the sealant and in different places we'll use this. It's like the uh, Eterna Bond from Camping World. Pray it's the same stuff. But it We've firmly had this bonds. before. Yes. And so we can put this in places. And then over that we'll put this is a two-step system. So this is the acrylic, well, you can read it. Okay. Rubber roofing coating system, part two acrylic. This is part one. This cleans it and prepares it for part two. Right, and we did this same thing over our rubber roof about at least two, maybe three years ago, we're yes. thinking. and it's worked pretty good. It still looks pretty good up there, but after the hailstorm, would like to just have another coating on it. Yeah, so that'd be good. The plastic sheeting is to cover the siding, so we'll take that up to keep the keep this from damaging the paint any further, or even the awning. So the plastic will keep that all protected. And the shutters. And of course the shutters. Yeah, gotta protect the shutters. Okay, and then you're gonna use a broom handle of some kind or something with the roller? Probably. To put it yeah. on? Yeah. Okay. Or I'll just use a brush. I don't know. I did do a video on this at the time. Yeah. Like three years ago. Oh, you're really close. Let me, let me just, there you go. <laughs> mm. uh, at the time, and uh, if I can find it, I'll put that up. All right, so that, and then we're letting the dents go. We're just gonna, they're not causing any structural things. It's just more to cosmetic, and it's really, you have to be kind of close to see some of it. We might consider doing a polka dot thing down the road, yeah. but <laughs> not really expecting that. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. So the other thing we talked about was the tires. We were gonna get those redone anyway this summer because they're getting uh, a couple years old. We're going to have them checked out tomorrow. We'll let you know. Yeah, and then we'll be replacing those. What, what's crazy is the hail did not do any harm to these things. These are just plastic. And uh, they replaced the, the rubber lug nut covers that melted when we had the accident. <laughs> the brakes locked up on us when we were in Utah going into Arches National Park. And anyway, it didn't start us on fire. That was, a, oh, that was so, so awesome. <laughs> and we didn't have to have it towed. We got it taken care of just by resetting something. So anyway, but we had to have, uh, these were just painted, right? The white, didn't you just repaint that? I didn't do anything to that. But we had to have new brake pads and yes. and brakes. Everything had to be redone bearings. again. Bearings. Brakes. Yeah. yeah. So. Then we got the fancy covers to cover the burnt spots, mostly. Yeah. And they look pretty good. Yeah, except right now they're dirty, but anyway, <laughs> otherwise it's looking good. And then on the truck, oy, doy, doy, doy. Okay, this was not from the hail damage. No, we didn't skip over that. <laughs> well, we're getting this fixed, though, at the same time. This was when I turned my back for just a few minutes to find a campground because we were having a hard time getting into a spot uh, at a friend's house. And when I wasn't looking and I was making the phone call, Gary hit a fence, uh, a metal fence. So that's gonna be fixed at the same time. Uh, we're getting, there was no, no dents on the side, which was bizarre. The hood of the truck, uh, you can really, it's hard to see them unless the lighting is just right. But it, it got pretty pelted on the front here. Uh, the dent, just a few little dents here, not bad. Uh, so we have that appointment scheduled now. And then uh, the roof of the, the truck as well. And right now you can kind of see the dents on the front of the RV. You look real closely. I don't know if you can see little them or not. Spots and little shaded spots. Yeah, I think you can see that that got hit pretty hard. We even have to put caulking around these little lights, and they're all around the whole thing. On the front, they're red. Oh, I take that back. The back, they're red. On the front, they're the same. On the front, they're the same orange. But they do light up at night. So when you're coming down the road, you can see us coming. 
Um, if you don't see the headlights of the truck, you know there's something behind the truck. And then these are the ones that are the lights in the back that also have to have new caulking around them. You can see the dents more obvious on the back side here. That's our kitchen side. And we have not had any leaks anywhere, thank goodness. But yeah, it got pretty pounded in the back here. So we're gonna be replacing that and any of the any of the clock that has cracks in it or anything like that will be doing that as well. And all the caulking around all these things too. Any anything that where water could get in. You know, I, a friend of mine said, wow, you have to do all of that in order to make it, you know, get it going again and, and be able to fix it all up. And I said, you know, we own a stick and brick. A regular house house, there's a lot of things we have to do on that as well. And there'd be a lot bigger space. And the other factor in there is that we were gonna do a lot of these things anyway this summer. It was just, it was all on our, Pretty much all of it was on our list to do. It's just maintenance. You gotta take care of things. And especially nowadays, you gotta take care of what you got. Because it might have to last you a while. you enjoyed this video thanks for being along with us and thanks for your prayers and so we really appreciate that and um, we're okay we'll be all right and uh, it had a much happier ending than it could have it could have it could have really been a bad bad deal so we we really uh we're blessed again we are yes <laughs> absolutely if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And the next one, little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell, and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for extra little pictures and things that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.